I not, am. I am. I'm going to okay. blame the tool. I, I understand that. That's what separates the good craftsman from the rest of us. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> the rest of us don't blame the tool. Oh. We improve the skill. Oh, well, I'm going to blame have the tool. Spoken. Yeah, and the dorks are here. And the dorks. <laughs> hey, Great Grimmy, maybe we that. should have a reindeer hunt game. You never yeah. know. Guess yeah. what? We're at the dork, dork table. <laughs> Hello, Miss Mary. Hello, Flasheroony dork. How are you? Festive. Festive. Ah. But well, shit, I still, you know, I still don't give a shit. You, well, you know, you shouldn't give a shit. You should make people pay for it. It Damn is it. very difficult to explain to the average Joe. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so what are you, we going to do this week on the dork table? I have no idea, uh, other than knowing that the dorks are on the loose. You mm. want to start out with the traditionals? With the traditionals? Okay. Well, the traditionals. Of, uh, Facebook and get push you to RLM. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Well, um, us dorks Hello, here. Hello, Facebook. <laughs> Hi, fakey book. I don't know if anybody's listening or playing along, oh, and that's okay. Who, who that's, cares? Who cares? And no. over here, <laughs> yeah, <I'm laughs> over here on this effing side, I see KD Troxel is over here, and he's having a good time sharing all kind of shit. Imagine, if you will, living in a Democrat-run state that harbors illegals and allows them to eat away with murdering our citizens. Oh, no, get away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just totally faux pas that, didn't I? Where illegals have more rights than natural-born <laughs> citizens. Yay, I feel so much better now. Um, well, yeah, the dorks are on the loose. And, and he also shared another one, how you can tell if your dog is involved in a sex scandal. And yeah, my dog is. <laughs> Both of them are. Okay. That is very frightening information to put out so early in the show. Well, you know, if you're going by the facial expression, yeah. Yeah, yeah but can't you just kind of like say hi to all the people in I'm the I'm trying to say hi to all the people. And over here on Twitter, Barman has Twitter. tweeted us out all over the place. No. Yeah. Uh, you say so. I, I don't think, Mary... I huh? seriously doubt we're Twitter material. Oh, I don't know that we're necessarily Twitter material. Hell, I only have 371 stalkers, and, and that's because I keep turning corners and scaring them off. Because they go, holy <laughs> shit, you see how she took that corner? Uh, dang, I'm glad I'm not riding with her. Yeah, Jesus. I heard, I heard about your drive to work the other day. Don't don't go getting all Hansel on me so early in the uh, evening here. Huh? Exaggerations are just not becoming. <laughs> well, well, I'm not even breathing hard, so there you go. No, you're... Uh, bye. Yeah. Say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I will do what I do all over you and them, too. <laughs> Ew. Ew, that's just gross. <laughs> stop. Don't try to stop me, Sneed. Sneed, whatever you do, do not... Try to stop me, Sneed. You've seen that Sneed. too, huh? Stop me, Sneed. Stop me, Sneed. Stop me. No, no. Um, let's see what's going on. Oh, he's not hurting anyone. <laughs> Dustin Hoffman can show his cock to anybody he wants. He was still good in Hook. Yes, he was very good in Hook. Although I did see what was that one? Um, that that. St Stupid, stupid one. My mother actually bought me the VHS, and I went, really, Mom? Wow. Nobody well, watched did, this. That's I why it's $3. Um, yeah, but <laughs> taste is all a matter of taste. What? That's true. That's true. I'm just seeing the ooey gooey rich Jewy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some people have it, and some people just get 20% because they breathe. Oh, hey, so, is that how that so works? Like, okay. I don't know. My, rate, my rates go up and down like Lady Gaga at a Rolling Stones concert. Woo-woo. 
Woo woo. Okay, let's see. We need to go say hey to everybody in the RLM because I think I've touched base on all the other ones. And anybody over in the corner pocket, sorry, I did not get logged corner in because pocket. I was kind of sort of farting around. But hey to everybody over in the corner pocket. Uh, okay, over here on the RLM, we got Jay Dredd and Gooberzilla are having a good time over there. Um, I know. Isn't I know. it frightening? It is. Um, Make, makes me want to invest heavily in a bib company. In the DACA of Dorculus. Wow, I like that. The DACA of yeah, Dorculus. Yeah, but I can still okay. see him wiping it off his chin. Oh, ew. Oh, damn. Oh, fudge. Man. <laughs> Catch it when you were drinking. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Miss Mary, we we do play that way here, don't we? Way to go, Captain Assholio. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Asshole. <laughs> wow. Is, is that going to be one of your new names on RLM? <laughs> I hope not. I, I don't really like that name so much. <laughs> take two. <laughs> Well, we we better run this through the okay. uh, filters. Okay. Wow. What's yeah, a filter? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like there's nobody even out there. We're just okay. Go we're, ahead. We're just bantering. Hey, barman! I see barman right up top, closely barman, followed by Grimmy. Yeah, and the Grimner. We also Grimner. have the lovely Kate is over here. Ooh, I. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. I had a squirrel moment. Uh, I I have mines up in the background, and there's a very uh, pretty flower. Or not? It's not mm -hmm. a flower. It's a very pretty tree. No, but, but it's a, it's a very interesting sight. I'm way more mines than I am Twitter. Yes. And yes. mines is a lot smaller, but it's fun. It is kind of fun. Okay, and back. It's growing. Yeah, it is growing too. There's yeah, lots and lots of people. But like in any the case, fungus on your <laughs> fungus among us <laughs> is this is this a math question there we go do you again. have algebra <laughs> okay don't, back to <laughs> don't, that's only two. <laughs> i can count to two without a calculator yeah but i do but i use do use my both my hands <laughs> Oh, Lord. And people listen to this. <laughs> hey, Kate. <laughs> Kate. Out Florida. Yeah, it must be quite balmy down there. I also see the lovely Beth Z is here, as well as Chalcedony. And Chalcedony. Circle, my hey. compadre's better half. And Chloe. <laughs> She's got three E's. Chloe. Cl what? One, yeah. We're down to one Chloe. Down okay. to one Chloe, but she's got three E's, so it's all good. I uh, also see I'm here, as well as I be Don C. I be Don C. And Java Doctor. Yeah, Java Doctor, too. And Jay Dredd is here. Hi, Hansel. How Han you Solio. doing? Han Solio. Han Solio. No. I like that. Han Solio. Hey, do you have your own spaceship and Wookiee and everything? <laughs> oh, Here we go. <laughs> I also Two see door. JJ's is here. It, are, are we going to be added to the 12 days of Christmas? Two dorks a giggling? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they'll have to make it 13 days. Yeah, probably will. <laughs> Somebody's got to move over <laughs> where we're coming in. Get out of the way. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I also see JJ's is here, as well as Juan uh, Taco. And Mr. Uh, taco. Asmodeus is here. Hey, Asmodeus. Oh. Yeah, and P. Bunyan Timber. And looky there, rain is here. I heard that they're having rain down in Florida. Hmm, I don't know where that came from, but apparently it just traveled right through and fell out my mouth. I also see RLM Fluke, who is the Vanna White of the RLM channel. Mm -hmm. She gives you the feel goods. Yeah, don't you know? Cause, yes. And she tells you what the temperature is. I hope to hell it's not a rectal thermometer. I also... <laughs> well. What? Well. 
Mrs. Mary, if, if it is the rectal, <laughs> I already um, have many experiences to use it. <laughs> Rectum, damn near killed him. I also... <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're supposed to wrap them in duct tape so they don't explode when you fuck them. Oh, my right. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am so. I really thought about taking a drink, and I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I also see Rob works is here. Hey, Rob. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I don't think we need the bubbler. I think Flash has had plenty. <laughs> Wait a minute. I can't get cut off in my own bar. That's, <laughs> nobody does that. Are you kidding? That's just my rude. God. I also no, see that trusty fellow happen. here. He's a Bitcoin bazillionaire. You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where were we? Here? No, I, I just to, wrecked him. Um, I had to defog my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't see all the tear stains. And, wow. I also see a double dip in an Allen B. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <how's it> <laughs> wow, <laughs> welcome to the show. <laughs> Shit, that, that was a sympathy cough, by the way. Um, I <laughs> Looky there, Colfax 101, as ah, well Colfax. as Dakota. Dakota. Yeah, and Dima. Dima. Yeah, and the lovely Dorky Lynn is here. And looky ah, there, my co-compadre, Flash uh -oh. Nasty, is here. Yeah. As, uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. And Frumpy. Hey, Frumpy. Hey, Frumpy. He's no longer Frumped. He's just Frumpy. And Gooberzilla. Gooberzilla shared Goober a Bambi meets Zilla. Godzilla. I'm going to have to watch that later. Okay. Bambi meets oh. Godzilla. Hmm. Godzilla probably ran Godzilla. away. Godzilla love you long time, Brenda. <laughs> <laughs> tap, 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 tap. Okay. Anyway, hey, Kozu. Kozu. <laughs> <Kozu. laughs> and Moy. <laughs> moy, 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 moy. I also yeah, see Poxified like... and Pompo Pond Sauce are logged in, but they're away. And Sock Puppet. Hey, hey sock, sock Puppet. He's got a troll doll that's his new pocket pussy. Does it purr? Does it have claws? I don't know. Uh, mm, does it hack up hairballs? That might not be pretty. Does it have a social security number? Mm, I hope not. I don't think it's probably very social. Ah, uh, no, never mind. Well, we uh, mm, ba -dum -bum -bum. I also see social. Slim Jim Flim is here. Oh, Lord. Yeah, as well as Teddy and... <coughs> excuse oh. me. <coughs> yeah, that what coffee we went down the do? wrong way. Um, and Teddy, and to round out the crew, the one, the only, the Phantom is logged in. Hey, Phantom! Okay, you would like to thank Mary Newland and the city of Tokyo for their cooperation in producing this cinema, cinematographic, cinema, ci, what? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. I don't uh, think it's a it's masterpiece. Really been used as a word before. Really? But cinema. Do I, do I look like one of those Hollywood elite Jews, or do I look like one of those just the regular banker Jews to you? And looky, Moosey's <laughs> here. Moosey! It's Moose? the mighty moose girl. Moose! Moose and squirrel. We have a moose on the loose on the dark table. Uh-oh. Moosey! Moosey! Wow. Oh, what are we going to do? Uh, I don't know, because I made it through all the names, and only 16 minutes after. Holy shit balls. Yes, and I tripped you twice. Yes, you did. Laughed through everything, whether it was funny or not, and still, you made it onto the side of 20. Hmm. I know. It's scary. Okay. I'm just not as, I'm not as devious and, and bad as I thought, I suppose. Maybe Apparently. I'm falling down. Hey, there's a banana Hold sky. Up. Is it yellow? Uh, banana sky. Yeah, Wait that's that's. I don't even know what that means. That sounds frightening. I don't either, but it's the it's over on mean? Minds, and it was posted oh, August the twenty third. It's like holy crap, August. that was a long time wow. ago. So you're already looking for things to read. I haven't even started talking about anything yet. I wow. know. Shame on me. 
What? No, mm-hmm. I just I saw that pop up and it's like, what the hell? Yeah. What the hell's a banana so, sky? Is that mm-hmm. what's so deep on your mind today? Is the banana sky? Well, I'm wondering if you just wander around going nanner, 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 nanner. Hey, nanner, I'll tell you what, nanner. You know, hmm? I'll bet you money that it would get you a nice hotel stay with the you know the state for a couple of days. You think? Good meds. Yeah, good meds. Cushy bed. You know, probably a roommate or two. Three but. hots and a cot. <laughs> well, um, okay, three PB and J's and a cot. Well, I get the cot if I'm meaner than the other guy no i don't want one of those stays you get the extra special treatment oh the extra special treatment Mm -hmm. oh no thank you no thank you no i thought wait you mean you got equal rights after all Mm, well you know it depends on where the bigger who got the bigger half well, Mary, I've always really had an inkling to ask you this particular question, and uh, I guess there's no better time to do it than now. Hey, you got your equal fucking rights, little missy. Are they everything you thought they'd be when you got them? Huh? 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 Mm, uh, mm, no. No. It was one of those be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. <laughs> And change your name to Ben Dover while you're doing it. And Sock Puppet, the wild crafty thingy, um, it's going just absolutely splendiferous. And I have been grounding lately. Oh, that. Yeah, I actually went out and grounded this morning for a while, too. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so cold outside, man. I wouldn't pay somebody to go out and do it for me. It's that damn cold. Well, you know, you get to a point, and yeah, uh, always wearing a prophylactic would be good advice, Goober. But um, <clears throat> you get to a point where your feet almost go numb. Yeah, but I did. I did really want to know how. How did you take all that on a serious level? I was fucking around in the first place, but you know, when you got your equal rights, so so to speak. Did that open your eyes to what rights truly are, or were you pleased about it when it happened? Well, you know, I didn't really... Uh... <laughs> well, we were coming of age. It was about 78, 79, right in there. It really hit the labor force. Mm-hmm. Well, Where see, I always... Rights, I had to work you know, anyway because I was in a large family, and if I wanted to have any kind of extras, you know, like nice shoes, as opposed yeah. to the shoes that mom bought at Alco's, um, yeah, if I wanted oh, to have something nice, then I had to pay for it myself. So, you know, this whole equal rights shit, it's like mm-hmm. I grew up that way. Mm-hmm. You know, everybody carried their share of the load and everybody got mm-hmm. treated the same. Yeah, so did I. So all my whole life, I've been looking at all these women wondering what the hell they're all talking about. And I thought that when I was, you know, the my teens compared to the teens now i would i would pick my own people were a lot more decent to each other when i was younger yeah and all this equality shit all it's done is just the divide and conquer with a big nail and a big hammer it's just yeah. convinced a lot of women that they if they go out there and scream and holler and say that they're nasty then they can get the bigger half well, okay, but they what don't about understand. The str- a half is a uh, half is a half is a half. It's a math and thing. And what, what about the strange people like me and Cirque that truly live up to fifty-fifty? Mm, I don't know. You guys are just weird. Yeah, I, well, I get. I think I get that from the family too. That the imbalance is so obvious, but you guys get along. We don't get it. <laughs> just, you know. Well, it's, it, the imbalance balances, though, and that I know that's one of those things where someone will step up and go, that don't make no sense. But, well, you I, know, I one person treat... has more of one and one person has more of another. And but when you put the two of you together, it's like, wow, that's some really good toffee you got going there. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't treat women any less rudely than I treat men. Well, so yeah, so. And well, I'm trying to figure out what what all this great divide we have between us is. You know, I've been doing this radio thing with you for what over a year, about a year and a half now. We're coming up 
on two, I think. Yeah. I forget. Yeah. I, I got to look at the, the months on the thing when I'm not smoking. Oh. But, <laughs> I mean, we get on here and every week we disagree about every fucking thing there is under the sun to disagree about. And when we don't, it's kind of shocking. But it's, it's funny. Not like, yeah, exactly. But I don't think I've ever treated you like you weren't an equal partner on the uh, dork table. No, just a co-hostage. <laughs> well, yeah, because I thought that was funny. Well, it I is trying, funny. I was trying to be a amusing guy. You know what I mean? Well, and you because, are. Uh, but you have your own radio thing. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm different than you, and I don't want to do the radio by myself. I like doing it with somebody else. It and is. I've tried it with a, a few other people, but just didn't flow like the dark table does. Well, because I do such a good job of ignoring you. <laughs> yeah, what, it's like your superpower. <laughs> Man, I, I got to rethink my strategy here. Me, maybe you and Circle are too close. <laughs> <laughs> I could be put I could be putting holes in my own hull and not know it. Ah. Hmm. And, you know, there's people that really do that. They they drill holes in the boat they're in and then they blame somebody else for the boat leaking. Yeah. You've noticed that too. It's not just my wild hippie imagination running amok. <laughs> oh no, no. I I notice people <laughs> shooting themselves in the foot and then bitching because their shoes got a hole in it all the time. Mm. So. Oh, speaking of shoes got I told Circa a joke this morning that cracked me the hell up. I told you before the show. I want to tell it on the dork table. Hold on. I'm going to go into the RLM. Okay, here we are. Ready for this? Yeah. So well, Cirque was playing her video game, and, and I was between movies or something, and I was sitting here thinking out loud. And I thought to myself, Self? my God, yep, I sure did. I said, my God, I'm so awesome and amazing. I would be like the Hillary Clinton in the anarchist world. <laughs> because, wow. Yeah, because it's like all the... All the bullshit that you can think of in one sentence. Oh, wow. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. You know, the best of anything would never, an anarchist wouldn't be involved in it. And Hillary, what is Hillary? Hillary is just a name that we bash when we're pissed off at the government. I don't think we'd know Hillary if we walked into her in the fucking street. Oh, God, I hope I don't ever do that. Uh, right, right. You're going to go all getting all serious, sensitive. No, serious. I'm not getting serious and sensitive. I'm it's just you, I'm afraid if, that I might catch something. If, <laughs> if that woman was walking alone down the freaking street and you passed her by, I, I wonder if you'd even notice her. Yes, I would, I'm because my my spidey, the, my spidey smaller. sense would go, <laughs> there went evil. Uh, I, gotta, I can't call your bluff on that one, but I, I kind of believe you then. Yeah, I sometimes I'm like that. I do I'm have a too, spidey sense, so you know when when people are just yeah predators. Yeah, damn right. And that that would be a thief. Basically, to me, it would be somebody that would be trying to get your property. And I'm not real big on property anymore, so my anti rad you know my radar is not up and running. But I've had it in the past when I needed it. Mm, yeah. Now I feel very very comfortable here where I don't need to be on guard so eh. but when i was younger and i needed it because i was trying to survive the mean streets of the united states of america i know out of times i want to know why they call it mean streets because i don't you know unless there's a crack in the street and you trip over it i don't, I don't see how streets can be mean they call them mean streets so that people will be afraid of them oh yep Hmm. That's the whole point of derogatory can of talk, Miss Mary, is so, to sound, make things sound worse than they truly are. Like, if you say, that fucking nigger, or you say, that nigger, see which one sounds worse to you. Tell me. Go on. They both sound bad. Oh, come on. Hey, you no, say seriously. No. Oh, it's a word, just like any other fucking word, anytime. It's just a way to, to get us all talking stupid amongst ourselves. 
well, doesn't yes. Doesn't mean anything to anybody. It's just another fucking word. Period. Yes, it is another fucking word. Thanks. And Thanks. I actually, years and years and years and years ago, before I had children or anything, I yeah. um, looked up that word, and it was an ignorant yeah. or stupid yeah. person, and it person. did not have, you know. And now it's mm. changed in the dictionary, but. Well, now if you look up person, you find out you're a straw man. Ooh. And the table gets more packed full of shit as the conversation goes on. A straw man. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You know, your corporate entity that the government owns. My mind went elsewhere because straw man, I thought of. Other consensual things that you did. Mm, mm. See, and I was, my mind went elsewhere. My mind went to the, the dark, funny side. You know, no. some lighting a match and seeing that straw person run down the street with flames flowing out of its hair. So, it's pretty much the same fucking thing, Mary. Oh, okay. When, when you when you weigh it out and, and you look at, at it, the, the truth of it, the state thinks it owns you. And it treats you that way. And you know. as a... As a whole, we tolerate this shit. Some kind, you know, some countries are a little nicer than others. Let's say that. Mm. Well, yeah, but some yeah, most, some cages are more comfortable than others. Right, and most people, though, in the long run, will tell you their government sucks because it, it's usually uh, filled with waste. Nobody knows what the other guy's doing, and nothing ever gets finished. Yeah, but if you actually stop and think about government but, inefficiency. Yeah. And stop to realize that if the government was efficient at what it Holy does, shit. we would yeah. be so totally screwed. Oh, so, yeah. They'd, they'd outright own us where we wouldn't even complain about it. Mm-hmm. We'd be, oh, yeah, they own us. Okay, that's nice. Hey, wait a minute. Some people do that now. Yeah. Well, there's lots of people out there that think they own you. You know, even no, people no, that no, sign no, your no. paycheck. Well, well, I how own it, how it, I mean, the average Joe guy that I'm pointing my finger at is the one that doesn't have a fucking care about it. They'll oh. tell you. I have relatives that were like that from my own life. Yeah. Don't care. It's not my problem. Wow. Yes, that is the problem. <laughs> so, like, it's like Hal says every week, you know, crickets. <laughs> Yeah, and yet, if you stop and think about it, and you know, like a a child that's having a temper tantrum, if you put them in their room, uh, well, I know you don't have, but I have had children that I've had to deal with that have had temper tantrums, and I put them in their room, and I ignore them, and you know what, eventually they settle down, and they come and behave. Oh, I like throwing transmission parts at them instead. Well... You know, it's uh, you just, know, show them a little, a little bit of that tough love. No, no, don't hit them with it. Just throw it close. Well, you know, scared. tough Make love. Pay attention, baby. And, Come on. and I don't have a problem with tough love either. I, I did an awful lot of tough love with my children. They found out the hard hmm. way that, you know what? When Mama says that if you don't pick up your shit, I'm going to go get a garbage bag and I'm going to put it all in a trash bag and it's going out to the dumpster. And they found out that I hmm. would do that. So, you know, they knew just there were because, repercussions. Well, just because they could push your, your what, perimeters of sanity around like that, I, shit, kids never push me that hard. They like me. Well. You know you, what kids do? What? They listen. Yes, they do. And then sometimes well, they there don't. There you go. It's well, just like adults. Sometimes they listen, sometimes they don't. Sometimes people pay attention and actually go, yeah, they're fucking us over and we need to do something about it. And then sometimes they go, yeah, they're fucking us over. And you know what I'm going to do about it? I'm going to ignore their sorry ass. So it's just a different way of dealing with shit. Is that all it is? I think so. Are you sure? Well, no, there are some people out there that just freaking don't <laughs> give a shit. But that is yeah, also a different way of dealing with shit. Well, no, I, I really believe, no, I really believe they're beyond it. They truly don't care. I've met people, I met them in North Carolina for, what, 10 years ago when I was living there. I mean, truly did not care. Yeah. No interest at all. Yeah. At one, I had a good friend in real estate, for fuck's sake, 
didn't give two shits about government. She's out there pitching fucking loans for 30 years. Mortgages. Yeah. But didn't didn't give two shits about law or government or just what? <laughs> yeah. And that is, okay, that mentality is the majority. But it You'll doesn't, for the will, most part, it does not adversely affect them. You know, they just kind of. Yeah, they vote. Well, they go along, they do their thing, they're happy in their little cage. I'm only a boy in a gilded cage. You know, that's... Really? You know, that's... Some people just... I know people like that, too, and man, Hmm. you know, you look at them and say, you know, you really don't have to do that. What? (laughs) You know, they go all Scooby-Doo on you. What? Uh, Well, it depends on your limits, though. There's... Alan will, Alan will understand me. Uh, I don't care about what you think at all. I don't. I don't think I ever have. But other people like to believe I do. <laughs> well, and that's okay. You know? Right. I'm concerned about how I feel about what I think and see, and I think everybody else is the same as that. And it's an even playing field. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, and I very rarely lose my temper except for when I feel I'm being specifically lied to. Purposely or maliciously misled doesn't, yeah, that rocks my boat just a tad. But outside of that, the rest of it's all fun, you know. But I can't stand a fucking bald faced liar. Don't know why. Maybe it's because I learned how to do it young and you're doing it all wrong and you're making me feel embarrassed for you. Mm. Well, you know, and they're, mm, eh, I, I'm kind of sort of of a mind that I can't change anybody, period. Yourself? Just like, well, me, yes, but anybody That's outside, somebody. anybody outside of me, I can't no. change them. And so no. all you I'm going to do diaper. is, well, oh, I've changed diapers. Yeah. You could change, you could change the amount of poison you put in their coffee. True. <laughs> True. I could do that. No, I agree with you, Mary. I'm just giving you shit. I know but, you yeah, are. There's nothing. Yeah. How long have I don't know how long I've been aware of it, but I can't stay aware of it for very long. You know, it's okay. one of those. Yeah. Well, I, there's lots of things that occupy my attention and one of them isn't my ability to control how I feel about what I see. I don't think about it enough to where it's on top of stuff. It's still well down in the bottom somewhere. I got to look for it. Hmm. And I've, I've gotten to the point now where when I get upset, I have to stop and step back and go, now what the hell was it that triggered me about that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I remember now. Okay. Carry on. Well, that's a good thing, too, but, well, we all take it how we take it, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, It's just like these links. Here, let me give you a little idea where my mind's at right now. There's a a new kid on the uh, Informed Planet site. Uh Uh-huh. You know, and it's a small site, and it's got its little homegrown, little intricate group of old-timers. And the young kid did something out of pocket, and the old-timers are coming on, just slapping her in, put her in her place. And she said, fuck you, I'm going to stand my ground. You don't like it, block me. <laughs> oh, there you go. Ta-da, exactly. There you go. And that, that, that's the only answer. You know, and well, people are, are starting to learn, although there is a block option, you're the one that needs to decide whether you want to use it or not, not for other people to tell you to use it. It's, it's an individual thing. Well, and one of the wild and crazy things is people don't realize that, or maybe they do, I don't know, uh, when you do exercise that block option, some of those sites, you can't undo it. So even after you've had a little bit of time to think about it and look back on it and go, well, you know, it nah, is kind of fun to old. have that little interchange going on and, and the mental exercise going on, and nah, you can't I unblock them. I, I've seen so much. There's not really much to unblock. It's the waste of time and energy to bother with it at certain times. 
Some days I want to play and some days I don't. Yeah, it's so like I've... Mood, it's like my, my PMS mood swing because I'm so old. Oh, see, and I have learned to exercise my ignore button. You know, somebody starts getting obnoxious and I don't want to see it anymore. I, I just kick on the ignore button and there you go. I ignore their ass. Yeah. What's wrong with that? You know, that that comes to brings to my mind about my block option for society. You know how, in my opinion, it would be worth a fucking tattoo on a hand to be able to opt out of fucking societies. That would be kind of fun. I'm well. I'm just saying how, you know, how far I'd be willing to to go to to prove myself, to be left alone, and all you have to do is, is get this. You don't get forced help, and you don't. They will not take you, unless, of course, you know. There's obvious things you don't slaughter somebody in front of a witness shit like that yeah do it when nobody's around well (laughs) there's all this law and right but all this law and order shit that people think they need to be told when on a normal day you're never going to think of doing any of that horrible shit in the first place so i mean when was the last time you sat down and went "Hmm, i gotta go out and kill somebody today hmm well how should i do it do I feel like driving a truck into a crowd of 30 or maybe a buck, take a pistol and just shoot five? I mean, what, what kind of society actually produces that kind of mind? Hmm. Uh, that, wow, it's a messed up society that, that produces that kind of mind. And I think it's a society that, that is overrun with rules. Because, you know, the more rules you have, I know this is going to sound crazy, but the more (laughs) rules you have, the more rule breakers you're going to have. It's kind of crazy the way that works out. And it inspires the act because you wouldn't think of doing it. But once they tell you not to, then it's the same pretty much for some as telling us not to. Or telling us to do it is the same as telling us not to do it. You know, actually, when you tell someone to do something, mm. your odds are, or at least dealing with children, let's put it this way, which <laughs> I deal with an awful lot of children that are yeah. um, chronologically not children. But in any case. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, Mary. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. Um, when you when you tell someone not to do something, they're more inclined to do that than when you tell them to do something. It's kind of weird like that, you know, kind of a reverse psychology thing. I'm trying to think of who I tell to do anything, and I don't think I do. I ask people just Mm -hmm. because I like to be asked. I don't like being told, go do this. Really? No, no, no. That's that's mean. And it's unnecessary. It's just like Hannibal Lecter would say, it's just rude. Yes, it is. And... I mean, even a serial killer. Hello, did you just mute yourself? Oops. <laughs> yes, I was. Uh oh. I was playing with the buttons again. <laughs> Sitting here talking to myself like a complete and total wackadoodle on a Saturday afternoon. Anyway, so it's oh. just. It's just our opinions about how we don't see the same shit the same way any damn way. Yeah. Well. But in the in the long run, you live a virtual, you know, virtually we live the same virtual life, you know, the outside world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A small community and the people on the site that seem to be the most in control of their behavior seem to be the ones that... Uh, stepped out of something to settle down you know like cowboy tech seems the type you know to name somebody that give you an idea what i'm talking about like he just didn't like the rest of it so he settled in oregon and he likes what he does yeah yeah i've never seen him um, post anything that was completely outrageous or crazy in my opinion and i like crazy shit yeah, he's got a sense of humor and all that, but it's still, he's like he, he was in something and then he just decided to do this and whatever this is made him happy. Um, you, mm. 
not a lot of people strike me as that, you know, where what direction they went in, it pleased them to do it, you know? Yeah. Some people are obviously living in some form of despair that makes them angry and hungry and, you know, desperate sounding. And other people don't. Hmm. Hmm. My friend, Mr. Mental Pancakes says that I brag because when I talk about how good I think life is, well, this is a, you know, some other people don't understand that, how you mean it, because it sounds like you're bragging, you idiot. Well, <laughs> you know, some people, some people hear it as bragging and that's once again, the, the, the two people looking at the same rainbow. You know, you see yeah, one rainbow, probably. I see another. He hear you yeah. say one thing, he hears differently. But that's from his own experience and his own perspective. So, you know, if if he if he says it sounds like bragging to him, well, it sounds like bragging to him. I wasn't complaining. I was just passing on information because yeah. that's Pancake's opinion. I'm not. You know, we're friends. I don't. I don't hold his opinion against him. Oh, I know. If he hears, know. If he hears my tone a certain way, that, and he feels like telling me that's his, but you know, I'm not going to commit suicide over an opinion. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> All well. right. Okay. Don't, don't go too far. It's dark out there. Oh, a circle's going to walk Hannah? Yeah, the baby's taking the baby out to the darkness out by the water. Hmm. That's what I mean. We live in this little paradise where, you know, the kids walk around. Nobody bothers anybody. Well, and that's cool. That's kind of that's kind of where I live. I mean, occasionally cuz yeah, yeah, my yeah, neighbor yeah. across the road is having issues with her ex-husband, but Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, you're going to have the best of crap. Yeah. But it's it's worse when we're crowded in cities like sardines. And I've lived in a lot of big cities, so I know. But for some reason uh, you know, I just say life took me here. I don't know how to put words to it. Well, but you don't. It was what I needed. Yeah, you get in a big city, and you know, it's like Sock Puppet had said that uh, grounding can be beneficial, and it can. Mm -hmm. And I shared a thing about making your own grounding mat over on Facebook, and my brother Joey said, um, because it's so difficult to step out front, and it's like, well, you know, people in cities, people that live in apartments. It is difficult to do that, to find a piece of bare earth that you can just go stand on and not worry yeah. about getting something through your bare feet, you know, something yeah. bad juju. So, yeah. you know, yeah. big cities, yeah. I wonder if maybe that's not part of the problem with people is they just plain don't have somewhere that they can go and ground themselves and just kind of go, oh, just let it go, let it go. So, and I, you know, I'd been, I read about grounding, oh, years ago. Um, actually, when I was still married, I read about it. Got some books from my mother and um, actually tried it and thought, wow, that is kind of cool. And I, and also one of those books said that you don't necessarily, it, it helps to be able to touch the earth. But if you can't, you know, if you're somewhere where you can't do that, then just calm your mind and then just reach out and and mentally put roots down in the earth. And that helps, too, or at least it helped me. So, you know, that helped me get through an awful lot of not such fun times, just being That's, able to mentally well, ground myself. And if you're in a big city, you can't do that because you got all that external Yes, you can. If you if you've got the information, you'll find what you need. I, li I lived in plenty of big cities. There's always parks. Well, yeah, it, it's a it's it's an individual thing. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And, and people, people need to be motivated not, to. No, some people need to be taught because they don't know what you're talking about. I'm not saying the people listening to you now. Most of these people know you, but strangers on the you know on the path of life. There's plenty of them that have no idea what you're speaking about, Mary. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's it. Uh, without calling people other people names, because I don't think being lied to is the same as being stupid. I think that if you've grown up, I grew up believing a lot of things that were bullshit when I was explained to, oh, no, this is how it really is. And 
and paid attention, it wasn't the other guy that changed. He was still the same. You know? Yeah. I saw it different. So it's not about them. It's about me. Yeah. Right. Well, you can't, you can't show these people that don't want to know and most of them don't care. They're too busy trying to survive to be bothered with what we're doing. Yeah, That's but what, what they don't so, yeah, what they don't so realize. Yeah, well what they don't realize is in order to help them survive, they need to find a quiet time. A no, place good to luck. Remember when you were raising kids and and were married and had a house to take care of and all that shit? Mm -hmm. You tell me where you could find 10 fucking minutes in a day that you could do anything without somebody fucking interrupting you for something. Oh, yeah. I always had somebody hanging on me or See? screaming yeah. or whatever. But whatever. Yeah. when See? my so. kids were little and when I was still married, mm -hmm. my Sunday mornings were... Y'all, I don't care. Just don't burn the house down. And I don't want to hear it unless there's bones sticking out of skin or blood gushing. <laughs> I'm going to go and take a uh, Calgon take me away. And I would go uh, have a nice long soak in the tub, take a book in there. You know, just max relax. That was. And if I did not get my Calgon take me away bath on Sundays, there was mm -hmm. hell to pay the rest of the week. And everybody knew that. So... They let me have my hour of soak. I would soak till I was pruny. <laughs> well, there's a little bit more the knowledge than I ever needed to have about your pruniness. Well, there you go. But, you know. Hey, no, you're going to bring up the girls next. No, no, I'm not going to bring up the girls next. Okay. But, you know, that's that's something that you just plain and it's called setting barriers for people, setting yeah. boundaries and letting them know. Mm. This is the boundary, and beyond this, you shall not pass, or you will not uh, like the repercussions. So, huh. and then you well, follow through. I, I had, I had one I said, but I never really expected anybody to live up to it. Oh yeah, and what's that? Bleeding on fire or throwing up. Oh, yeah. And in 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 all the days of children watching, I've done in my life, I've never. I never had a hurt kid or a sick kid uh, in my care. Oh, you're lucky. Yeah, you're lucky. it's unfucking believable. Yep. No cuts. No, you know, no broken. Nothing like major shit. I mean, little yeah. stuff. Yeah, tables and you know, learning to walk kind of crap. But you know, the big stuff. Nah, very lucky. Uh, well, neither one of my girls got broken bones, but I tell you what, my youngest, <laughs> she most definitely. Mm, well, yeah, actually, I'll both care. my girls, you know, had Alan their. Want me to, yeah, Alan will want me to mention. Alan is a broken bone. Ha ha ha. Ah. <laughs> okay, you were saying your girls and blah blah blah. blah. Well, and I I Alan you to to. That's okay. Up. That's okay. But you know, they're my kids had their little issues. Sure, but, sure, sure. You know, and I'm looking back on them. It was it's really weird how when my children had. Um, well, one of them fell backwards off of a swing, and she fell so hard that she embedded a little rock in the back of her head. And uh, we wound up having to pop. It was just a little pebble, but we had to pop it out of the skin on the back of her head. And, yeah. you know, it's amazing how something mm. like that, You, I just got this calm just wash over me. And I got mm. totally calm, very clinical, very... Now you need to be calm. You need to lay oh, down. Yeah. You need to yeah. let. And once yeah. it was all over with, and I got her taken care of and bandaged, and <laughs> then then I sat back, and you know it was like, holy crap! I got the cold sweats. I need to yeah. sit down. I need to <laughs> shaking like yeah. crazy. But during the time of trauma, I was yep. like totally calm. So go figure, huh? Yeah. It's weird how well, that worked out. Yeah, well, there's more to us than we're ever going to know. I mean, we're not taught half the fucking shit we're capable of. I don't think we're taught it. No. And, and the crap that they teach us is so useless in the overall scheme of life that it just wastes all your time. Yeah, I saw something the other day on Fakie Book. 
no less, um, that uh, schools need to be teaching instead of all this nonsense. And yeah, some of that stuff is is neat to know information, but let them do that on their own. Don't. But what what kids need to learn is they need to learn how to not only um, cook a meal for themselves, and I'm not talking pop something in the microwave. I mean cook a meal. They need to know how to cook for themselves. They need to know how to wash dishes by hand. Because you're not always going to have a dishwasher. So, you know, unless it's someone else on two hands. They need to know how to, well, they need to know how to balance a checkbook in this society. Who writes checks anymore? I do. To what? When you go down, okay, I don't. I haven't written a check and you, I well, when I pay bills, I write checks. I don't do that automatic. I don't. They, they, no. They got these here things now, Miss Mary. I know. You can pay yeah. bills online and all this other fun shit. No. I want to be able to sit down and write that check out so it sticks oh, in my stubborn. brain. That, oh, Well, yeah. I'm not rich like you. I can't afford to, you know dictate what i will and will not do <laughs> well i just i i gotta go along with what mother nature provides <laughs> i mean i do have some things that that i pay <laughs> online but yeah for the most part especially local bills i write a check out and i don't mail it to them i walk it in and hand it to them that way uh, it's you're just you're just meaner than a bag of snakes. I am. I'm. How I'm, many extra days does it take these fucking people to get paid out when you draw it out like that with your old archaic checkbook thing? Um. Well, they get paid the same day. Because as soon as but I get not, a bill in like, the mail, I go and I pay it. Uh. Uh. Okay. Well, what I'm what I was hinting at though, it's not that instant gratification of electronic yeah. card banking. Yeah. Bada bing, bada boom. People oh, look, a, it's there. People got to actually handle a document and read it. Oh Lord, mm-hmm. you must be you must be like an arch villain in Ho- Podunk, Kansas. <laughs> mm-hmm. Here comes Mary. She's writing checks. <laughs> it could be. Could be. <laughs> wow. Can you imagine? You know the future. It ain't gonna matter. I think what they're gonna do <coughs> for money is they're gonna eliminate currency altogether. And I don't really see that as a bad thing. Get rid of currency. Get rid of the monetary system. Well, right. Then the government will issue everybody a fucking card and own us all equally. No, I don't want the government involved at all. But, you know, in a perfect world, in my perfect little world where there's rainbows and butterflies and little unicorns with wings, I would like to have a cashless society. But you need to have a mind shift first no. before you oh, can I, do I, that i've been listening to you tell that i know that part of it dear i'm not blind to you i'm just saying that to be perfectly honest about how i feel uh, i don't think it's got a snowflake's chance of ever taking the shape but it's a nice story yeah well, it's a, I think what's going to happen but you wanted to railroad me on it is the government's going to issue us all cards and to get shit you're going to need a card oh yeah well so it's not going to be a matter of where do i get my card it's be a matter of registering with the fucking state to get your card it's the very thing i don't want nothing to fucking do with is what i foresee coming and you know there's several ways of looking at that as well and that doesn't have to be a bad thing Wait a but minute. you know you someone is someone is minute. going to Don't someone's going to make it well someone is going to take it to the dark side because anytime you have any kind of technology there's always one person that's going to take it to the dark side that's just <laughs> the way I'm it sad. works you're trying to take my take away my dark story away from me though and i was I doing know. so good i know you were feeling so Shit. so trolly about it or know me or whatever flashy well, i i don't know <laughs> i just when when you can look around at the kids and see how they're behaving and compare it to the childhood that i had i can see the cashless society happening 
And I, I could see being welcomed and encouraged by the young. And I because they're all and they're that, all on phones. Yeah, well, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, having a cashless society. And maybe that's a step we need to go through to get to a truly uh, monetary less no. society. No. But I disagree. I think it's just a better, stronger grip of control over you through your spending. And see, but I look at it. Black. <laughs> see, I look at it like like with Dangleberry. When Dangleberry first got selected, I was absolutely freaking livid, just livid. I wasn't crazy about who in the hell was. I mean, I don't even remember who in the hell was. Was it McCain or McBain? whatever the hell, was running <laughs> against him. But I was just livid because I saw, me personally, I saw my dad. Because, oh man, every time Dangleberry spoke, it was like, holy crap. Holy well, crap. Yeah. yeah, I see Grimmy is saying it'll be biometrics, which, yeah, you were talking about the card, and I kept thinking the chip. The okay, chip. Okay, well... I like the topic, uh, so I, I t typed in, want to call in and explain Grimner? Yeah, I think it's going to be either a chip or, you know, with uh, all of these mandatory no. vaccination things, they're putting little nanobots in us. Okay. You know, so, uh, but, no, you know, that's taking, no. that's taking way cool technology and taking it to mm. the dark side. Because it is way cool technology. If you can have nanobots that can go through the body and repair things, like like take out a clog, you know, unclog an artery or all that other fun stuff, that's mm. way cool technology to help someone mm. and then teach them how to eat properly so they don't have that problem again. That's way uh -huh. cool stuff. But no, that's not the way it's going right now. So How is it going? You know, well, they're putting that nanobot shit in us to cause dis-ease in the body. At least that's the way I see it. But, yeah, use fingerprint well, or eye uh, eyeball scan or whatever. And and that's precisely why I refused to do that with my cell phone. It, You know, they wanted me to set up the security thing to where um, either using a fingerprint or scanning my eyeball. And it's like, no, no, hmm. I will punch in a code. I am not going well, to use... Okay, Mary. What? Exactly. That is the backbone of what I'm trying to say uh, that justifies my side. Is if given a choice, I would prefer to have a pocket full of paper and coins. Oh, yeah. I would okay? too. I concede into the future a few years from now, you couldn't spend a pocket full of hundred uh, dollar bills. Let's use that because everybody knows what a hundred dollar bill is. Even right now, if you had a pocket full of hundred dollar bills, you'd have more businesses tell you to go away. They can't help you than you would be able to spend them. You know, not even hundred dollar bills. There are kids that have never seen two dollar bills. And yeah, I read you... a thing about a kid got arrested for trying to um, counterfeit. counterfeit a two dollar bill. Yeah, because the, the counter girl didn't know what a $2 bill was. Yeah. Called the police on a 10-year-old kid. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, anyway, <clears throat> it's a matter of taste, you know, and matter. But it, in the reality of the whole thing, it's all easier, but it's it's a, just a way to control us easier. It's got nothing to do with what's better for us. It's got to do with how they account for more of their fucking shit that they want from us. Yeah, which is where sock puppet skid marks actually come into play, and I think that would be an appropriate way of of identifying if you know if you got skid marks. <laughs> show us your skid you, mark. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I saw a Scottish wedding, and the the, the girl in the white dress had fresh skid mark. It oh. was just oh, oh. Every time I see here, you go all JJ's crazy about his kilt, and I remember that picture. And, now, I just relive it over and over in my mind. Um. This is so wrong, Mary. <laughs> shart attack. Shart. Shart. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> life, you know, life is chock full of shit. Like you were saying earlier, you can't unsee it. Well, it doesn't really matter what you see. I don't think. It matters what you think about what you see. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 Yeah, How you process what, what you yeah, just what, saw. 
what shocks me doesn't shock you and vice versa. You know, you look at this without a problem. I look at that with that. We'll look at the same thing and go, hey, we'll fuck this. Yeah. You never know. It's it's the mystery of perception. Yeah. Which is kind of uh, cool. Think, I think my perception's pretty mysterious. <laughs> <laughs> well, Oops. it is somewhat herbally enhanced, so. Well, oh, only <laughs> when I'm awake. <laughs> only well, when I'm awake. alternative, right? I can go get a flu shot with some fucking mercury in it. <laughs> or I could smoke some pot. Yeah. Well, let's weigh this out in the balance of life. Do I want to be a pin cushion or do I want to well, do something I really enjoy? Hmm. Even even the flu shot is only legal to a point. You know, I bet if you like, hey, you held a needle against somebody's neck and said, this is a flu shot. Give me all your money or I'm pu- I'm going to inject you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, okay. No, wait, wait, wait. I'll bet that by the time it went to court, went to court, if you were to be caught, however, that would work out some kind of weird charge about and it could be filled with water but you said this is what it was oh. you know with all the new laws and the way everybody everything you say makes somebody cry yeah so you could hold a syringe filled with water to somebody's throat tell them it's a flu shot and spend 20 years in prison yeah this is the world we live in uh huh Wow. That's, I think it's once the, again, it's the more rules you have, the more rule yeah. bakers you're going to have. Well, and they're never going to stop. I mean, Christ, they were just slapping themselves on the back of 80,000 pages of regulation in D.C., and they printed more in the last year. Yeah. <laughs> and they, they're all proud of this shit. It's I like, know. They probably got more redundancies. But, once again, that helps keep them from being ever so efficient at what they do. Ouch. Ah! Miss Rain is here. Hi, Miss Rain. I see you. By the laundry machine. Ah. Ah. Oh, Miss Rain. She She says her skids uh, are are worth the attention. Well, good job, uh, Miss Rain. do Do you do artwork, honey? Are they, wow. you know, like, they fancy splatter? <laughs> wow. So. <laughs> welcome to the dork table. Home. Where you have home, artistic splatters. The home of the wayward soul. I'm telling well, you. Well, you know, I mean, they had, I what was it I saw the other day? There is an know. art gallery in New York that has yeah. imaginary artwork. You know, you walk in and you wander around and there's nothing on the walls, there's nothing on the pedestals and someone describes to you what this piece of art is that you're imagining you look at and someone actually bought a piece of art like that for $10,000. <laughs> And I Stop went, it. are you uh, kidding me? This has yeah. got to be a joke. This has got to be. This is too freaking funny. So when I saw that, I um, I I went, well, you know, if they want me to buy any of their imaginary art, I'll just hand them an imaginary cashier's check. How's that sound? So that's about. But, you know, there are people out there that would do that. There really are people that, that are that. Oh, but. I can just see it in my mind's eye. Well, if you can see it in your mind's eye, then you can walk away with it, honey. <laughs> you don't have to pay. <laughs> wow. This this is our present we're describing, too, right? Yes. Isn't it just funny? Well, I haven't seen that yet, but I'll take your word for it. I, oh, wow. I just... it's. Um, it was on the internet, so it must be true. But I just kept thinking, "Oh uh, my it lord!" Sounds, it, come on, it sounds satirical to me. It yeah, it does sound very satirical, and yet I know people. I really do, and they walk oh, around. Uh, the emperor's clothes thing, like yeah, Trump, for example. Yeah, yeah, they they yeah. they wander around. They breathe. They feed themselves. They vote. You know, I know these people, and it's like what. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know what I find really strange and hard to believe? What's that? Some woman married Joe Biden. Oh, well, you know, I mean, has anybody ever taken a good look at Uncle Joe? Uncle Joe is a creepy looking Uncle Joe. (laughs) Yes, he is. But, you know, there's someone for everyone. So maybe so. But I wouldn't want old creepy Uncle Joe around my daughter. Oh, Lord, they're talking about scratch and sniffs over here in the chat. <laughs> Not my problem. Let let them rant. We have the radio. They have the chat. It's fine with me. <laughs> scratch. <laughs> sniff. Lick. Bite. All that shit. Have fun. Leave me out of it. There you go talking about the girls again. Always. Because, see, once I figured out boobs run everything, I was on that day. You was all over I, it, weren't you? I won. I knew. Well, see, now I know. Ah. Once you know that, you don't need to know anything else. Well, uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can count to two. <laughs> Jeez, With calculate. both hands. <laughs> wow. What do you, if you're dating a cow, you might need a calculator. I got two hands. <laughs> Yeah, you got to get up off we all here in the morning to get up, get past me, because uh-huh. I've been up since a quarter to five. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you wascally wabbit. Oh, well, anyway, I didn't get up yes, that early. I, are you fucking kidding me? I don't have any idea what I, I think it was like 10. No. I don't know. I sometimes see a clock. Sometimes I think I saw a clock and just make up a time. <laughs> oh, there you go. Don't fucking know. I don't have my glasses on yet. Yeah, it looks like it's close enough to 11. Oh, there you go. Four well, o'clock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, the hands were close. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, uh, yeah. I don't even. I think I was a little after seven when I got up this morning because the sun hadn't hadn't completely risen yet. So I was out wandering around. In my jammers mm-hmm. with the puppies. See the hard life that you have there in, in Bumblefuck, Kansas? Yeah. <laughs> it, surprisingly, it's, as it turns out in 2017, it seems to be the, the ultimate answer to everybody's problem. But they got all crowded in the city. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yep. I was in the city a few, about four years ago. Oh, and did you want, see, I'm one of them, there people that when I go to the city, like a a real city, like Denver, to me, that's Mm -hmm. a real city. I go there and I'm one of them, there touristy people. I wander around and I go, oh, would you look at that? (laughs) Well, nobody, nobody really noticed me in Copenhagen unless I I was talking. Ah, yeah, because you'll speak American. Just looking at me. Yeah, but, yeah, the voice thing, mm, that changed the balance a little bit. Yeah. But outside of that, I was just another regular Joe, but still, it was too much city. Yeah, I don't, mm, I don't do city. It's not very big. It's it's about 450 when we were there. So it's big, but it's not, it's not like stifling and you can't breathe. They even had Freetown right there to go play in. But ah. Yeah, it was walking to, this is about three miles from where the apartment Cirque had when, when we met. Cool. Yeah, but eh, I still, I, I was already getting uncomfortable and it was still good when I was there. Oh. But. Since we left, she's made a few comments about, oh, there's been troubles in the old neighborhood. Mm, well, see, little, aren't you glad little, that it's the old neighborhood then? Oh, I, <clears throat> no, not really. I don't think like that. It was just, this is where she wanted to go. Well, that's okay. She just didn't know it until I said, hey, you ever live in the country? Oh, I live in the country. Let's try that. <laughs> well, there you go. So now here we are in the country. Well. It's kind of a boring story when you hear it. You know, 20 years ago, if somebody would have told me that I would be living yeah. out in the middle of the boonies, I'd have laughed in their face. But now yeah, it's like, too. I can't yeah. imagine. I can't imagine I, living in, in town. What, 
Yeah, 20, 1997. Where the hell was I? Um, I think I was in California or on my way there. And, yeah, 20 years ago. Wow. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? Uh, kind of. Kind of, was, when you look back. I was, I was a younger fellow back then, in 1997. Well, you know, our priorities are a little bit different when we're younger, I think. What? Breathing, eating, and other stuff? And procreating. <laughs> ah, see. Or at least practicing at procreating. You dirty girl. <laughs> <laughs> Always got to do that, don't you? Yeah, I do. Well, you know, that's priority. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, being a human being is a lot of work. Let me tell you. It's not easy. No, it's not. Well, but... it, maybe it's more like it's not easy to do it right. <laughs> it's easy to do, but it's not easy to do it right. That's the what I meant. Because people are so fucking hard to please, these little fucking snowflake motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to call them snowflakes anymore. Because I like snowflakes. I think they're very pretty. Mm. I don't want to call yeah, them that well, anymore. Pretty decays. So good luck with your pretty. Well, anyway, I'd much rather call them butt nuggets. <laughs> well, but it applies to all of us over something at some point. You know. Well, well our, yeah. Our generation just wasn't brought up. Uh, we were brought up a little more violently than physically violent than the, the one growing up now. You know, or the twenties, the twenty-year-olds of today. Yeah. Boy, the seventies would have crushed them like cigarette butts. Well, yeah, we got our butts beat and all that fun stuff, and yeah, rough and tumble life, and hell, we yeah. even played Red Rover, Red Rover. Yeah, but, you know, you fall down, you get up, and you learn, hey, don't do it like that anymore, stupid. That didn't work. Yeah. That's what falling down is about. It's not failure. It's, well, I missed. Okay. Yeah. Make an effort to not miss like that. <laughs> yeah, because that one left me bleeding. Damn. <laughs> right. But what I read on the interwebs, Miss Mary, is it's so disturbing to believe that society is taking all the fun out of being a kid yeah yeah it is now they got like internet sites telling or what do you call them memes or in uh links and shit like that and they'll tell you that the they're forcing certain kind of literature at certain ages in school children and blah 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 making it law that mandatory and <sighs> wow <laughs> wow <laughs> Yeah. When I was eight years old, I think I was riding a bicycle and going to school or something really exciting like that. So, Well, yeah. I mean, we were trying to relive Little Rascal episodes that we saw on TV. Well, the Internet's making it look like they want eight-year-olds making adult opinions about themselves and basing a future based on that eight-year-old opinion. That could change again. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on. Who didn't want to go to the moon when they were five years old? But, oh, you know, yeah. You know, and, well, by and the time you're 10 or 12, you start to really understand, no, that's just, come on, nobody goes to the moon. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? When I was like five years old, they had Major Astro on TV. And, mm -hmm. and he, you know, played cartoons and all that other fun stuff. And it was just <laughs> so way cool. I wanted to be like Major Astro. But right, then but my brothers told older, me that I couldn't because I was a girl. It's like, well, all that's right, no but fun. Still, all that, all that boy-girl stuff aside, once you hit about 10, some people as late as 12, reason strikes you. You, you. you know the difference. Well, yeah, once I got to be a certain age, I didn't want to be Major Astro anymore. I wanted to be Marianne off Gilligan's Island. <laughs> well, I, I've, made, I've made a very... very very recent discovery, Miss Mary. There are those who walk among us who believe everything they're told. Oh, my goodness. Yep. All you got to do is end, end your sentence with, the government said so. Oh. And they'll, they'll believe anything you tell them. 
Mm. You'd be you'd be like making friends like there was flies all over a pancake. Well, it's either that or the law says. Okay, well, upgrade my okay. Yep. You're better with advice than I am anyway. So you <laughs> you take the credit for that one. No, Grim, I didn't want to be a major asshole, although I think I may have accomplished that a time or two. Um, hey, I accomplished something without even knowing I wanted to accomplish it. Damn. Now. I'm an overachiever. You, oh, you bad girl. <laughs> I want to see Rain bitch slap someone. Why? Are you that violent? No, I just want to see Rain do it. Do that. Because I bet violent. you, I bet you she could. I bet you she could bitch slap someone. Well, well, does that insinuate that whoever she does that to is just going to sit there and say thank you? Uh, possibly. Well, I would expect the opposite result and expect somebody to come after me like fucking Greece if I hit him. So. Yeah, but you don't necessarily don't have to hit someone to bitch slap them. Oh. I've bitch slapped what? a lot of people and never actually made physical contact with them, but they Maybe. sure as hell knew oh, us. Oh, okay. Yeah, they I knew. I was misunderstanding what you meant by that, because I, I just thought slap just makes me think contact. Mm. Where does where does the sound come from if you didn't do anything? Hmm? 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 Yeah, what's the sound of one, ha one hand know. clapping? <laughs> <laughs> <I don't. laughs> yep. Boy, now when you put it like that, Miss Mary, it's just a simpler way for me to follow you. There it's you go. It's just a whoosh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me cough up a lung here and we'll we'll balance the scale. Um, you know what I think? What? I think I think the world could be fixed in six months. All of it. Oh yeah? Every problem known to mankind fact. I would guarantee immediate results, but there's three requirements that need to be met. What's that? You can't lie, you can't kill, and you got to grow hemp like you know what you're doing. See, you got so many requirements. To me, my, know, my requirement... Three, three! I know, three. but my, my requirement is thou shalt not steal. <laughs> Period. <laughs> yeah, but then you got to break it down for the dumb ones. No, 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 sweetheart. Just start out with three. Three's easy. Even even a dog can learn th three tricks. <laughs> Don't give up on us, Mary. We can do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I think, and it also, it gives you the illusion of choice. <laughs> oh. Three. Three. <laughs> not just one, not just two. Three. Well, I will yeah, grow him. Three things. That, oh, I think I still think that if life was based on true instead of bullshit, that we wouldn't be in the position we're in now. That that's the the point of that shit. Yeah, okay. but you know, I was thinking about that the other day, uh, talking with someone, and what is true for you is not necessarily true for me. I mean, that's uh, why we banter. Hey. But, okay. you know, to, How I mean you could take, is, I know, but you could take 20 dishonesty. different people and give them all the same facts in the same yeah. exact order, and they will each come up with a little bit different. So each. So, wait, 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 wait. So, if you show 10 people the fractional reserve banking practices that they use today and show them 10 people that, they're going to come up with 10 different reasons why they should continue? You'd probably be surprised how many times that will happen. Oh, you got to be kidding me. No. What are we, wow, what are we dealing with here? Hmm. We're Perhaps dealing there, with a very entrenched system. There's something in the water, Mary. I, I think it could be fluoride. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> yeah. By the way, uh, you know, brush your teeth with it, too. Yeah. And oh, wow, if you yeah, swallow yeah. it, call the poison uh, prevention hotline. But if you, you brush your you teeth and you it. absorb it through your gum tissue, well, that's okay. Yeah, that just makes you stupid. Yeah. See, look what happened to me. People go, hey, what happened to him? Fluoride. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 50, 50 years of the Americas did this to me. And you know, I can't sue. No, no. Isn't that a bitch? I can't sue anybody that hurt me. Well, no, because you... No, they're all... Uh, they're, 
They wrote themselves out of being sued. Oh, yeah. I don't even know how to explain it. I think you were talking about on your radio program. Yeah. That may have been where I got the idea to talk about it, Miss Mary. Yeah. Did you also know, and I didn't know this until I listened to a gal that used to be a sales rep for Merck, Merck uh, Pharmaceuticals, yeah. and um, she had decided long ago that she was not going to have her children inoculated because she had done research, done her own yeah. research, and she worked for Merck. And yeah. um, she had said that a lot of people don't realize, you know, they think that vaccines are very safe, but vaccines don't have to go, don't have to go through the same stringent uh, testing process that uh, pharmaceuticals have to, you know, the, the prescription medications and that kind of stuff, even though those, that testing criteria has been eased off quite a bit as well, but, but, um, it was something about uh, vaccines are for public health, whereas prescriptions are, you know, something that a doctor has to actually do. And so vaccines, being a public health issue, don't have to be put through all the testing procedures that drugs do. And I thought, wow, uh, that's just uh, totally uh, bass backwards. So, isn't you know, that a scam? Something Bye. that's optional. Mm -hmm. Gets more testing than something that's mandatory. Wow. Right. But your average person, let's use that term. Yeah. Okay, to find a balance point, would probably not be aware of that. And trying to tell them that would back the government and say, oh, no, the government would not. I've got relatives that say these things. Yeah. The government wouldn't do that to me. And. You have nothing to argue with. They will not listen. So, here we are. Well, they're not the government. The CDC isn't the government. They're just some bunch of people that the government writes a paycheck to them, but they're oh, the not technically is, the government. Oh, come on. They're not even the government. It's just the, whatever you believe it is, it is. Yeah. I don't know what you believe well, yeah. it is. I, I, believe I, I know what I shit. believe it is. Right, but I... Hmm. What, what can you really say about it? Well, it's such a huge, gigantic thing, and we're so insignificant as one person, you know? One yes. person doesn't. You don't interest them no matter who, what you think about yourself. You, they're not interested in you. No. They're looking for groups of people because they got to work, and they don't want to work. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's the way life really is, so... You would assume that wherever the trouble is at, that's where the people would be working. But that's not how things are explained. We're told that the opposite of that, wherever it's bad, that's where it's stay away zones and gun battles and all this crap. And tons and fucking tons of stories, but I never see pictures. Well, and even if you saw pictures, how do you know those weren't doctored? Cripes. Well, I, mm, mm, I've seen I lots know. of them that, that you know, you see pictures and then you see, like, before and afters and, and they have the lovely okay. little time stamp uh, on them and perception. all that other fun shit. No, I don't no. Know. There's, a know. Certain, there, there's a certain field of, of somebody throwing a, a bottle at a glass window and the window will break at a certain point. Where at another point of the window it won't. Mm-hmm. You got to hit the window in a certain area of the window with a certain thing for it to break a certain way. Or yeah. Depending on the glass it is. Got to hit well, the weak spot. There's right. Well, there's things like that that some things can't happen any other way than the way you just saw them. Yeah. Until they're proven. Well, I don't have one of those suspicious minds. Whoa, you guys are so suspicious of everything now. Ooh. And I started out there. I just didn't trust anything I saw. <laughs> Well, <laughs> and it made smoking the weed a little bit nicer. <laughs> uh, well, uh, yeah, it's easier not to see how ugly life can be when you're stoned. <laughs> 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 when you're stoned, even even cornflakes look good when you're high. Come on. When you're stoned. You know, you know that's when a Cheech and Chong high, song. When you're as high as a giraffe's balls and even a bowl of nasty cornflakes looks like something edible you know you're happy 
Or you're really, really stoned. <laughs> that same damn thing. You can't be one without being the other. They're inclusive. They're, what do you call that? Synonyms? Ant- not antonyms. Yes, no, sir. synonyms. Yeah, well, see, hey, I don't have to be stoned to be you. happy unless you consider me to be naturally stoned and then Wait, wait a minute. Hell. You said had, had. It's a choice I make. My goodness. Ooh. Oh, yeah. No. And I'll bet you money that you couldn't tell uh, my behavior one way or the other if I wasn't. You giggle more. You might think so. <laughs> I think I laugh, crazy laugh, like the beginning, because something just took me funny. I don't know what the hell it was. I was so happy about my own joke. I was just laughing, I guess. But, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, you got to start yeah. somewhere. Well, you know, yeah. I laugh at my own jokes, too. And a lot of times people look at me like, what the hell is she laughing at? She's, because getting, it means she's something scaring like, me. <laughs> it, but it means something to you, the sayer, that may not translate the same to the listener. True. True. We insert into it every now and again. But then when I told her that obscure joke about the uh, Hillary Clinton, you know, the best Hillary mm-hmm. Clinton in anarchy world, mm-hmm. she knew what the fuck I was talking about right away. Yeah. That was the most sarcastic load of shit I've said in months and my little my little Danish wife got it. <laughs> well, she's been around you entirely too long. I, I think <laughs> I think I broke circle. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Shit. She's starting to understand you. This is scary. She'll, she'll have to get some kind of help. I know there's treatment for that kind of stuff. <laughs> for, being, for being broken by an American. Hmm. Tell her to roll a spliff. It's all good. Yeah. Well, you know, I don't even do that. <laughs> yeah, no. you don't have to. She just does it on her own. Well, right. But mm, all that. If I want to do something bad, if I want something done bad enough, I'll, I'll just start doing it. And she doesn't trust me to roll. So. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. So all you have to do is start and fumble fuck around. And she goes, oh, give me that. <laughs> I don't even have to do that. All I got to do is look at rolling papers. <laughs> it's like, stop, all right. <laughs> Four years and, you know, people get to know each other. Well, yeah. But, well, yeah. I don't know. She she does her things and I do my things that I'm, pr- I'm better at or more interested in doing than others. And like Roland, I wouldn't give it the uh, the attention, let's say. I wouldn't be so, uh, I don't know, concerned about the balance and this being that. I just rolled the damn thing. <laughs> yeah. You're more function over form. Yeah, she's an artist. and It's like her coffee. I just put something in a glass and add water to it. Call it coffee. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like shit too, huh? <laughs> Might be a tea bag and some cream, milk, and sugar, but I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so you know, you call something what you want to call it. It's all the same. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but d- when when you treat other people the way that you treat them, are you treating them the way that they're treating you? Or do you even think about it? Oh, I think about it all the time. And sometimes they get back what they give, and sometimes I still treat them the way I wish to be treated because I'm trying to let them know that I don't find what you're doing appropriate, and I would prefer you to. You've never said that to me. I feel so left out. Well, that's because you've never pushed me to that point. I know. Damn, what's wrong with me? Maybe I don't know. I'm not half as... Maybe I'm not half as manly as I think. I haven't bullied you. <laughs> no, no. You don't, nah. You don't bully me. Because I just laugh at you. I know. It's, it's see, words. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Besides, well, all, I've, all I know. I've, I've been married to a bully, so nah, you ain't nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I've been one. In, in a sense of the word, mm-hmm. you know, and not necessarily like for years at a time, but there were episodes in life where that bully side of me had to come out to survive what I was doing. Otherwise, I'd have got crushed by the opposition. 
and I'm still here. Ah. Okay. 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 Well, yeah, well, hell, I survived whatever my life did to me. I'll, you know, for, I'm, I'm here now, but, man, what a trip. Some of the shit that, that's happened in life is, uh, it, it, to tell other people, they end up, you know, if they don't know me, they'd be like talking about some of the shit we talk about already. Is going, nah, you never did that. <laughs> okay, never did that. Well, you know, people are going to believe you or they're not. It's, <laughs> and does well, it really got, make any uh, difference? No, but I got caught lying about my bonehead brother's trip. You know, and uh -huh. not that anybody gave a shit any fucking way. It was just a matter of, you know, I try to I try to say what I mean and mean what I say, and I so rarely tell a specific lie now that it stands out. You know, ah, uh -huh. where when I was in the city, lying would have been more like, no, I don't have time to deal with this shit right now. I'm busy, or you know, it depends on the. Uh, the person receiving the other end of the lie, how important it is to people. Ooh, uh, this is a dork table announcement. What's that? I have the elixir right here in my hand. Uh oh. That's right. Still getting elixir during the dork table. I'm I'm a happy little dork. Yay, yay. See, and I was smart enough that when I made coffee before starting the show, I filled a carafe of elixirs so that I don't run out while I'm on the show. Ha -ha. No, but now you got to turn on the video so we can tape the pee pee dance <laughs> for our 15 hardcore viewers out there in RLM land. Well, you know, um, no, I'm not turning on the video and. We only got a little under a half an hour to go, so I don't have to squirm yet. And I have a kitty cat laying on my lap, so, yeah, there ain't going to be no dancing. Well, what interesting and wonderful things are going on there in Podunkville, Miss Mary? In Podunkville? Not a whole heck of a yeah, lot. The wind is kind of sort of blowing out there again. Okay, so it's bad weather and everybody's staying home unless they got to be out in it. Well, it's really not bad weather. It's just windy. Hmm. Okay. I don't consider that good weather, but whatever your standards of good and bad are, may they be making you happy. Well, so long as wow, there's not moisture. So you know? Moisture. Oh, that's where you draw the line. When, yeah. Uh, there's when it's windy involved. and moisture, then it sucks. Then I stay in the house. Oh, but if it's just moist but not windy, then what do you do? Uh, well, it depends on if it's just snowing, <laughs> then I go outside and I play in the snow with the dogs. Uh, and if it's raining, sometimes I go out and play in the rain with the dogs. Uh, Unless there's lightning happens, in yeah. the sky. And then I call the dogs and have them come in. <laughs> Cause, it happened. To you. Hmm? you were following that and I, I got dumped somewhere off back in the 40s. Oh. I, yeah, I don't know. I just got derailed. Oops. Oops. Like you and Cirque did to me earlier. Oh, wow. <laughs> Boy, give me a cup of coffee and my whole life just goes all into a spin, doesn't it? <laughs> Can you imagine that? How easily, uh, how easily satisfied I must be? Because I get all goofy over a cup of coffee. <laughs> well, you know, it really is the little things in life. <laughs> well, maybe, and maybe that's not fair to call it a little thing because she goes through a little bit of work to make it. You know? Yes, but, you know, a lot of people look at stuff like, oh, a cup of coffee. It's just a cup of coffee. Well, you know. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Well, to, yeah, I don't because I couldn't do it. I can't reproduce this. And I'm a copycat. So, but nah, this is, this is an art that I don't want to copy. I like hers better. Well, she is the master. Isn't that sad, Miss Mary? <laughs> well, no, it's not sad. It's just you recognize that she has an ability that there is no way you're going to be able to replicate, so why even bother? I just expected so much more out of myself once than, than I ended up with. You know? I'm not demanding. I don't demand anybody do anything. 
and life is great. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, nobody demands me. I don't demand them. The world is just freaking great. Then I get onto the internet sites and I see some of the stuff people have on their minds. And it gets a little depressing. Let's just, you know, to that side of it. It's not good. It's really bad. And we're coming up on all this Christmassy crap, right? Mm-hmm. And and I'm reading things like people are expecting another false flag and kind of sad things. You know, when I was a kid, it was Santa Claus is going to come and bring you presents and probably do your aunt grace and then leave. Ew. Now, <laughs> just see if you're reading or not. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> I don't well, have an aunt usually, grace, but. Yeah, ew. but you're usually ignoring me when I'm talking about shit like that. So <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were listening to that. <laughs> The so, one anyway. time in a million you heard it here on the dork <laughs> table. About, yeah, I'm talking about Santa Claus getting some. <laughs> well, Santa Claus only gets some once a year. You know, it comes down to yeah, me. That's what you think. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Why do you think they say ho, 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 ho in the first place? <laughs> Jeez. What is that? Hans always talks about gold diggers. You know, it's like. Wow, there's some really cheap gold diggers in this world if hands hands knows any of them. <laughs> mm, oh, I don't know. You'd probably be surprised. No. I don't think Mrs. Trump would give Mr. Hans the time of day, but you have other ideas, I am sure. Oh, no, I don't I no. No. Well, I don't know. I think I got these guys on the RLM that Chivered chatter about the women got some pretty fucked up ideas about women. That's <laughs> what I think. Not that there aren't women that do that. It's just why encourage it by bitching about it, you know? Grow up and get on with things. Well, and see, I just, you know, if people have fucked up ideas like that about women, they've obviously not about been around women that have bitch slapped them and let them know that Ow. ain't the way things work. And I'm not well, saying how, getting physical how, how with them, just cluing them in. That, n- mm. No. Excuse no. me. You know, no. I, uh, I, when all of this sexual harassment shit was first kicking it into gear, and yeah. Ben Affleck was, was poop, you know, shame, shame, shame. Oh, that was so bad, or whatever. And then he got busted because they shared a video of him <laughs> pawing some young thing. Oh, and yeah, yeah. and I saw him paw on her and I thought, well, well, he's a total dick. But then I thought, why in the hell isn't she smacking him upside the head? Because, yeah. you know, if if I would have been in that si- well, I have actually been in that situation a time or two. And yeah, you smack him. And you say, excuse me. I did not invite you to do that. Cut it out. You know, so, you know, I I get where guys do that shit, but it's a button pusher thing. You know, they're going to push buttons until you tell them, you push that button again, and I'm going to push your button to where your lights go out for a while. You and know, see, why why are we taught and encouraged to behave that way in the first place? When I don't, a peaceful resolution to a conflict is really a whole lot better for everybody i've tried it i've done it a few times in life not many but you know that that fight shit is just so well whipped into us yes it is but you know the, it's like the, the first sa- thought every time well no it's not the first thought every time and i tell you what i did not ever at least not with men folk i never had to get to where i had to punch them or anything but they definitely knew i would If I had to. So stop Hmm. that shit. That is not welcome. You will not do that. Well, is that a price of living in a land of the free where people are so free that they can treat you however the fuck they feel at any moment given? Well, that's a price of dealing with other humans, period. It doesn't make a shit Hmm. bit of difference what piece of dirt you're on. I think it's a Hmm. universal thing. There are some humans that are going to push the envelope simply because they can. Either Mm. they saw someone else get away with it or what have you. But they're going to try. And Mm. when they push it and Mm. they push it against the wrong person, that person will let them know, "Uh, excuse me, that is not acceptable behavior. 
So. <laughs> wow. You're so you're so deep today. Well, it's just it, uh, it I'm going to get a shovel and try to figure out how to get it out of this one. You know, I just Look. Well, it was that that 93-year-old grandma thing and I saw it again I, oh, while you yeah. were talking and I was listening yeah. to you but I was also scrolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I right. saw someone else share that video or share the yeah. the article about it and I thought, okay. Okay. What happened to her was bullshit, but she right. had a way of keeping it from getting to that point. And people are just are not accepting their personal responsibility for this shit. You know, you can whine about somebody abusing you, but yeah. did you have a point in there where you could have put it to a screech and halt before it got to that point? If you know. did and you did not put it to a screeching halt then you got to take some of that blame as well that's why i've decided to be on the side that doesn't give a shit mm. i feel have... completely uninterested in that woman's plight i don't really care well and i get that but you know on a personal level with you you have points where you know someone will push it and you just no more no more. I, I ain't taking your shit. You know, look, it only takes so much ability to reason to put that situation on yourself. You know, if you're that old that you can't control your surroundings anymore, and so I'm not interested in the topic. I, I, no. Well, see, it's like the uh, it's like the guy turning his. Uh, self into a girl thing that Bruce Jenner guy yeah didn't want to talk about that I, what the fuck do I know about it I don't know don't even like the subject next well, so yeah it's yeah well my my opinion of reality is that we accept what we accept e individually yes it's not a group there ain't a group any fucking thing that's all in your imagination that's just a way to identify your peers but it's not not real well, it's a one-on-one -on -one interaction thing. And as right, soon as people realize that it is a one-on-one -on -one and you it's have working. options. Yeah, like try to eat better and get a better form of electricity into your body. Ah. Get a little bit of knowledge on these vibrations and these wavelengths that we live in and find the tools to make them, how to master them instead of the system mastering me with it. I'm going to turn the tables on the system. That is my long range goal as a dork sitting here on the dork table, baby. Hi. That's right. Hi. Well, why not? I've made a lifetime out of this game. You know? That we call society. Been just been a big board game to me. Anyway, holding that thought, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's more as I get older, it's more fun than it was when I was younger. Well, yeah. When I was younger, I was noticeable and I was in you know in the the world in a public way where I interacted with people and money exchanged hands and shit happened. And now I'm just sitting back in a nice little village and playing on the internet and maybe watching some films or you know doing something uh, to entertain myself. And that's not so bad. I think I got it made. And ah. I'd like to see everybody wake up with that mentality about where they're at, that they got it made. I think that's what we're lacking. You know, if we're going to agree about anything, it should be anything but who the fucking president is. It should be about, I woke up feeling good today and I'm a happy person. And it's really hard work. Yeah. It really is, because it's, it's a, just so easy to be sucked into the negative on the internet and the TV or whatever. Go out and sneer at somebody because they're wearing a color you don't like. You can always find something if you look hard enough. But to be nice to people and just get through the day, you got to be aware of all the shit you're doing. Move out of people's way so they don't knock into you and shit. True. And, you know, sneering at people because they're, they're using the, yeah, um... That's why I don't think orange is the new black because I look good in black, but I look like shit in orange. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, Mary, please. <laughs> I don't think there's a color called shit orange. T- <laughs> Have you changed a diaper lately? <laughs> No. It depends on what you feed that kid. (laughs) But but we have a cat. Now, I'll tell you, cats can eat some stuff that you just wonder what planet it came from. (laughs) Shoot it out. (laughs) Well, okay, because the cat's on a a, diet of what we feed it in the house, right? Uh Uh-huh. But Dr. Cooper, he's a cunning old cat. He likes to spend his nights out in the, in the fields uh-huh. right? chase mice and shit like that well mm-hmm. every once in a while when he uses his cat box he lets he reminds us who the boss is here ah <laughs> say wow yeah the things cats will eat is just frightening mm, yeah yeah my rascal kind of yeah yeah not the greatest topic. It was one of those George Carlin fart joke kind of moments, but got, <laughs> just grew legs and started walking, and I couldn't stop it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want sock puppets. It's looking like a big carrot. Yeah, well, no, I don't do the carrot thing very well. <laughs> wow. wow. That would describe... <laughs> and Rain says, reminds her of shit and corn. Have you ever noticed? It doesn't make any difference how much there you chew go. that corn up. Well, it no, still it reconstitutes it. itself. <laughs> no, it's, there, I don't eat it here. You so don't? don't? No. <laughs> No such no such vegetable on our table. You know, you can chew and chew and chew and chew. <laughs> okay, I chew, daughter of a sneeze. I heard you the first time. But, yeah, no, there, we don't do that. Me and Cirque don't, we're not like, um, what do you call it, like food Nazis about any particular thing. But I do try to keep my shopping away from certain countries, if you know what I mean. Uh-huh. Wait. Yeah, Mm -hmm. because if you openly boycott the Jews, then you end up with people telling you you're a piece of shit and go, wow, you got this whole game wrong, don't you? (laughs) Mm. Uh, There's lots of folks that do not understand what they're fighting about. (laughs) They you know what they think it is, Mary? Yeah, you're going to believe what they, they think. What? It's a religious war. It's a war about religion. You know what it really is? What? It's a it's a United Nations land grab disguised as a religious war. <laughs> it's so brilliant, and the, and all the people that talk about it on mainstream and whatever that is, all praise the fucking Jews like they're some special thing. And if you talk against it, which is the truth, it's all a bunch of shit. Then ooh, your ratings go down, and you know, there's flaming bags of dog shit on your porch and whatnot. It's horrible things happen. Ooh, flaming bags of dog shit. Mm. I was I was embellishing. I, I know, but I'm thinking, wow, I don't want that. I mean, I already have it's to walk out in my yard and avoid the landmines. Lord. Right. That's But see, that's the point is, you know, the bad guy is the guy that challenges the story he's been hearing for 60 years. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. And you go, wait a minute, no, your story's never made sense. None of their stories ever make sense. And it doesn't matter which one you don't want to agree with, you come out of it looking bad to average Joe, because average Joe doesn't care. Hmm. And there's no other answer that's going to work for me. I mean, you can believe it's something else. I think it's apathy. Yeah. I remember going through apathy in my 20s so to speak, didn't care much for, you know, the system and the man and law and all. I didn't give a fuck about any of that. I was just living. Ah, well, you know, and if, if people just kind of did their own thing and living and not messing with anybody else, wouldn't the world be a wonderful place? Oh, a foghorn leghorn operation. No, I like foghorn leghorn. Well, now, son, I, think world, I said son. A, I think the world is a wonderful place. I just mm-hmm. think people abuse it. And some people are so fucking greedy, they, instead of 
greed being a bad thing, they're looked up to for being filthy, fucking greedy swines that want everything for their self and nothing for you. And people don't realize that. They can't look at that and not fucking see it. Yeah, and yet people are greedy and and mm-hmm. other people allow them to continue to be greedy. You know, you deal mm-hmm. with a little one like that that's going, no, that cookie's mine. And you just tell them, uh, excuse me, that is not yours. You have had one. That one belongs to. Wow. Ownership. Uh, well, but, uh, you know, no, what? it's it, just one of time. those things where it's like people will be greedy if you allow them to be greedy. I don't got it. And if you, I don't got to allow anybody to do anything, they do whatever they do. Uh huh. But you don't have to put up with it. Sure, I do. Mm. Do you know how hard it is to murder somebody? That's a lot of work, Mary. I'm <laughs> sure it is an awful lot of work. I've Good never done God. it, but I'm sure it exactly. is. Exactly. But there you go. So I've you never, have to tolerate I've other never people. been inclined with doing so. But well, to me, not? it's just. <laughs> you know, if I'm around people that that are behaving in a greedy manner or whatever, I look at them and say, "Really, seriously, you think that? Uh, I don't think so." So, what, well, that's kind of a vague statement, too. What's a greedy manner mean? Well, give like, me a for example, because I'm kind of slow with this stuff. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the children thing again. You know, that's these are my part. cookies. This is and my candy. Have. And it's like, no, that candy is for everyone. You do not sit there and eat all the candy just because you're sitting there close to the candy. That is not yours to consume. That is for everyone. And children need to learn that. And Mm -hmm. I think a lot of these people that are, once again, children that are not necessarily chronologically children, did not learn at an early age that just because you think you can have it all doesn't mean you can. Oh. Okay. So But they do. And, and because not only do others they, allowed them to. Somewhere right, that, along the way, yeah. others allowed them to behave that way. Like how how did I allow anybody to behave anyway? I don't You get may that part. you may not have had the opportunity to interact with someone like that but Ew. you know Damn. you look at these people that are constantly i gotta have this and i gotta have that and i'm hoard, you mm-hmm. know hoarders or whatever and you yeah. tell them really do you really honest to god need that is that yours to take if it is not wow. yours to take then stop yeah. taking it see all the arguments it opens up for too it's a brilliant scheme this whole game we play Mm-hmm. yeah it's got like built in safeguards when logic and reason enters, you put your barriers up to stop it. Nope, no logic and reason will not enter here. Thank you. And it's okay. <laughs> well, see, and wow. anytime I've ever had to deal with someone like that, I just pretty much let them know, excuse me, you may believe that. It may comfort mm-hmm. you to think that way, but that doesn't mm-hmm. mean I have to allow it to happen to me. Hmm. Oh, it sounds like you're in charge of your own life, Grasshopper. Yes, I am. I take responsibility for my own actions. Right. And crap, the lazier you are, like me, the less shit you got to do wrong at the end of the day. Well, there you go. I I fail less now than I ever did because I hardly do anything at all. (laughs) Never mind. Ah, well. (laughs) Hoo-hoo-hoo. And you Man. know what? We're almost out of time. Lucky you. I you know. Dork. I know. But, see, we covered all the important crap that doesn't bother anybody. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Because we're at the dork table taking a break from Donald fucking Trump and his band of merry men. <laughs> and then you had to bring him up. See how you are. <laughs> God dander, my, some of it itches. It's my show. I could do whatever I want with it. I see how you are. I could pee all over it if I want to. Yeah, well, it's your computer that gets damp, not mine. So there. <laughs> I'm going to have to be breaking this new software I just bought. <laughs> oh, <laughs> going to try and turn it into hardware? Mm. The, no, like, like my poster. <laughs> I can uh. see your cards on this new software I just got. <laughs> 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 T- 
talk <laughs> about people pissing. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny uh, as hell. Just don't do it twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, well. Y'all been listening to the Dork Table. And um, is Vinny going to be on later on today? I remember him saying something last night or I saw something in the chat. Vinny was going to be doing something today. Vin's always doing something. Always doing something. But I I don't know know if he's going to be on. and I don't know if JJ's is going to be on this afternoon or not. Oh, well, it's Christmas, too. Well, it's JJ's. He'll do whatever he wants to do because he's JJ. Um, do we? Yeah, and tomorrow uh, Grimmy's going to be playing the blues at noon Riffler. Eastern and time, and then mm-hmm. Hal Anthony's going to be. Um, Hal, he'll be on after Grimmy, and he's going to open up a can of whoop ass on yo uh, ass. Not my ass. Not my ass. Oh uh, yeah. I don't need a whoop ass oh, opened up closer. on my ass. You're closer than me. <laughs> Take the girl. I didn't do it. <laughs> I'm going to go hide in my blanket yeah, fort. Judge- when the judge faces me and says, how do you plea? I'm going to go, take the girl. I'm innocent. I didn't do nothing. It was all her idea. <laughs> See how you are. How asshole. You <laughs> <laughs> there you are, being Captain Assholeo again. No, I'm not going right back to the start. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. I hope, I hope you come back next time. <laughs> yeah. Well, After oh. today, I don't know. Today was weird. Sometimes I think they listen just to see how <laughs> how dorky we can be. I don't know. I don't know either, but yeah. Let's see. Hal Anthony tomorrow. Uh, Gary Ellen Gigi's boo tomorrow night at 7 Eastern time. And then I'll mm. be back Wednesday. Ew. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I'll be back Wednesday. I'll be back. Yeah. And we are doing a dork table next Saturday, right? That is, Absolutely. that's the Saturday before Christmas Eve. So that's before Christmas Eve. That's right. Sweet. Santa Claus said I could have the night off. Santa baby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs>